hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate a youtube view without a web view in expo react native so let's get started so firstly i will open this particular documentation uh, here are default typescript uh, sorry expo templates which you can use i will be using this blank typescript template to create a project feel free to use whatever you feel you feel like so here you can see inside the template template command i am passing blank typescript i'll paste it over here the reason i am using this blank typescript template is it gives us less boilerplate code and also it gives the typescript project i'll name it as my app click enter next if i see over here as you can see it has created this my app so i will just open this inside uh, vs code uh, now uh, the problem is if you see over here we need to write native code to embed youtube view inside our application now for that we have to create the android and ios folder inside our project uh, so for that you will have to go to this particular url so i will just open this particular url now here you can see uh, we have this android device selected we have this development build okay and i have disabled eas i am on mac os so i have selected this operating system i have already installed watchman cask java home uh, and i have already installed android studio as well so i don't need to install it again so as you can see i have already done this as well i'll just scroll down i have done this as well i will just copy this particular command okay i will cd to my app i'll paste it over here so this will install the expo dev client for us okay next we again have to scroll down and we have to copy this command so this will actually create the android folder for us now we just have to wait for this to finish okay this is done i'll just run this command now this will ask me for my package name i'll keep everything as default but feel free to change it to whatever you feel like okay once that is done i'll scroll back again i'll select ios device now and here i will again same thing uh, again if you have not installed xcode you will have to do this i have already done all this we have already ran this command so we don't need to run it again and then we can just copy this particular command okay here i am getting this error for my android uh, command because i have not installed any android emulator i will be running it on a real android device that's why and i have not connected my real android device to my mac os that's why it is giving me an error but this is fine because i don't want to run my project any which ways i'll just run the command for ios i'll uh, click enter for the bundle identifier to keep everything as default and then it will uh, install the cocoa pods for us now this will take little bit of time so be patient in the meantime what you can do is open this particular url so we have to create an expo native module to integrate uh, uh, youtube view inside our application so we will have to make use of this particular command so i'm waiting for uh, this to get finished but also in the meantime i want to tell you that i have created a sample project before uh, recording this particular video and i will be copying a lot of code from this particular tutorial itself so don't get confused so let's uh, wait for this to get completed and then i'll come back okay so as you can see my installation has finished and it is asking me to run it on a device i will i will just press ctrl c because i don't want to run this on a real device or any simulator as well because we haven't written any code yet so i'll just copy this particular command and i'll paste it over here so this will create a module native module for us so if i just show you here it has created android and ios folder that already created but this particular command will create this my module i'll keep everything as default you can feel free to change the module name if you want to enter 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 and here you can see it has created this modules folder now for this also we need to run uh, this particular command so sorry not this one this one the pod installation command so i'll just copy that as well and let it finish now firstly i will open app.tsx so first we have to import this module view so if you say see this module it has a uh if you go to android java here you can see it has this module view same for ios as well first we have to import that so i'll just remove this text component for now i don't really need it i'll go to my practice project because i need to copy some code and firstly i will import my module 
as you can see over here okay if you have named your module something different you will have to change the import as well uh, next we'll do something like this uh, and i'll just paste it over here now as you can see over here this is the youtube id uh, like every uh, youtube video has a youtube id so i have just copied this uh, youtube id so if you want to see how to get the youtube id i'll quickly open my browser i will go to youtube.com i will go to my channel and i will select suppose this particular video okay i'll just pause this now here at the very top you can see this particular thing so this is the youtube id so make sure you copy this youtube id as well okay uh, so yeah now coming back to our uh, project so i'll just close this so you you can get that youtube id for any of the video now as you can see i'm passing a prop called youtube id it is not accepting that firstly i need to pass the width and height as well so for the width and height you can use the use uh, windows dimension hook which is part of react native itself so i'll just use this okay then i will import it from react native then that uh, issue is gone now we have this issue of youtube id uh, so if you see the src inside your modules my modules dot types dot ts it takes a prop called name i don't want name i name i want it to be youtube id so that is resolved if i go to app.tsx here you can see it is resolved now it is giving an issue for styles so uh, for styles what you have to do you have to add this view props okay sorry and view props import it from react native as you can see and that issue is also gone so we are we have fixed this issue uh, now we'll come to the android folder which we have first go to android uh, also uh, yeah one more thing uh, if you want to see so for uh, ios i'm using this particular library uh, make sure whatever is the latest version you use that i'm using the latest version at the time of me recording for and uh, for uh, android this one for ios this one okay and this is just a youtube video which i have taken uh, but yeah feel free to choose whatever you video you feel like then go to src i'll go to oh, my practice project first my modules android i'll open this build.gradle because i need to uh, uh, add some dependency so we'll have to copy this particular dependency as you can see and i'll go to java build.gradle over here and i will just copy this particular part so firstly here you can see this is the dependency for android youtube player and here we also require this app compat thing because we have to get use we have to get hold of uh, life cycle so that's why i have added this dependency so make sure you add this bit of code inside your build.gradle file okay then inside android manifest okay yeah android manifest is fine we already have the internet permission inside the main android manifest which is located inside the main android folder so we don't really need to worry about it now inside my module here you can see it is taking the name prop i don't want the name prop i want it to be youtube id okay so again i'll just copy paste the code just so that i don't make any mistakes so i'll just open this practice projects of mine okay and firstly i will have to go to this particular file and i'll copy this okay and i'll just remove this here i'll go and here you will see code like this you will have to just do something like this so this is the youtube id prop which we are sending it from react native if you have named it differently you will have to change it over here as well as over here as well as over here and we have to define a method called setup inside this my module view dot kt so i will just open this my module view dot kt okay so i'll close this my module dot kt now again i'll just copy all this uh, code from my practice project okay so i've just pasted it over here so firstly i'll just remove this unnecessary thing so first here you can see this is my package name don't copy my package name use your own package name in case if you don't know your package name just go to my model.kt and here you will see your package name so this is our package name these are all the imports which i have uh, imported so you can just copy all these imports then here we are getting hold of the android life cycle we need really need that then here we create our youtube player view uh, give it some match parent and add it to our parent view of expo view 
uh, then here inside the init method we add this lifecycle observer for our youtube player so once we call the setup method we pass the youtube id and we add it to our add youtube player listener and as soon as uh, it is ready it will start playing that particular uh, video when we pass the video id and here we just start playing the video so yeah that's it for android side so i'll just close this uh, now for ios uh, firstly again i'll go back to my practice project uh, we have to again i'll open all these three files okay so firstly we will have to inside our ios folder we'll have to open this my module.pod spec and inside that we have to add this youtube player youtube ios player helper dependency so i'll just close this here i will go and i'll paste it over here uh, okay and again i'll have to run this particular code so i will a particular command so that it will install the uh, youtube ios player uh, helper dependency as well inside our module so uh, here you can see it is installing it so yeah just uh, wait for that to get completed here you can see it is installing uh, so once that is done uh, we'll have to open the my module.swift file so i'll open it over here and uh, in from my practice project i'll just need to copy this i'll close this again i go back to my module.swift and here you can see i'll just paste it over here so we require the youtube id once we get that we will call the load video method which will which will define inside my module view.swift file okay so i'll close this as well next i'll open my module view.swift again i'll just copy paste everything from my project practice project and i'll show it to you so here firstly we are importing this expo module score then ui kit as well as youtube player view so here we are creating a ui view from ui kit then we create this uh, yt player view from youtube ios player helper then inside the init method we add our view okay uh, here we set some uh, ns layout constraints to our youtube player view then add it to our view as well here we uh, make sure the uh, parent view occupies the entire width and height what we have sent it from react native side and here is the load video method we just pass the youtube id and we just pass it to our player views load method and it will uh, start uh, playing that video for us so yeah that's it uh, now just uh, run the application and i'll just quickly show you guys the output is the output for ios so i can just play my video and it will start playing hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video so let me show you the output for android now okay and here is the output for android so as you can see uh, okay i'll just dismiss this so as you can see i'm able to play this video as well yeah that's it thank you for watching bye